Hey guys, I thought I would bring you along for a realistic clinical day morning routine in my life. <laughs> so, welcome! Usually, I have to wake up at the crack of dawn when it is still pitch black outside, but luckily I got to sleep in because I had a community-based clinical rotation this morning. Sorry if that noise gave you PTSD. I end up setting about five different alarms and eventually force myself to get out of bed because duty calls. This is my kitty Cruz, or Cruzy. She's so cute. All right, so I tend to lay my clinical clothes out the night before just because it makes things a lot easier, especially when I have to wake up at four or five in the morning and I don't want to be rushing and scrambling to find these dang clothes. So I put them in the dryer just to de-wrinkle them, get any of the dog fur off, and because it warms them up when I put them on and that makes me happy. Don't forget to floss your teeth, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my dentist had mentioned to me that if you had to choose between flossing or brushing your teeth, it was almost more important to floss your teeth. So I hope that you never have to choose between the two, <laughs> but just a food for thought. I heard Cruz meowing, so I let her in the bathroom with me to hang out. This is me struggling with getting the mouthwash cap on. So you didn't just see that. No, there is not a ghost at my house. <laughs> that is my kitty. Next, argumentatively, my favorite thing in the morning is washing my face. So here I am using the Devol Radiant skincare system and I absolutely love it. It makes my skin feel so soft and refreshed afterwards and I genuinely feel like it helps me wake up for those early clinical mornings. It comes with a large body cleansing and exfoliating brush, a gentle face cleansing brush, it's so soft, an exfoliating face cleansing brush. That's the one I use the most often, and a pumice stone. Not to mention, it's water resistant and may be used in the shower. Devol actually sent me a coupon code for you guys, so this code will give you 70% off on all facial cleansing brushes and styling tools. The promo code is Sierra Lynn, my name. It's in all caps and it has no spaces. I will have it down in the description box below along with a link to their website. So shout out to Devol and thank you lots. Yes, I am putting Aquaphor on my face. I've been doing this for years. If you have a suggestion for a good moisturizer, I'm all ears because I've tried so many expensive ones and they never work. But Aquaphor does and it's never caused me to break out, so. <laughs> don't forget deodorant in the morning, guys. I don't know how many people I've heard say they forgot to put deodorant on in the morning and I just don't understand. I know what you're thinking, I probably could have turned the light on a lot earlier in this video. So yeah, sorry about that. 
It depends on the morning. Sometimes I choose to put a little bit of makeup on before and sometimes I don't. I mean, honestly, it's really determined by how rushed I am to get out of the house. But realistically, when you're wearing a mask all day and then a face shield sometimes, there really isn't a huge point to put on makeup. But if it makes you feel better and helps you look awake, then I'm all for it. is the hardest point in the morning for me because I decide how I'm going to wear my hair and it's usually just chaotic because I shower the night before yeah this is me drowning my hair in Moroccan oil because my hair is so bleached and dyed and dead at the ends and I could probably use a haircut if we're being honest Clearly, I decided to put my hair in braids this morning, but do not let this video fool you because a lot of the times I'll start and have to restart because I've messed up. So this was just a lucky morning. My phone started to ring and it was my boyfriend calling to discuss what we were going to have for dinner and asking me to take the meat out. <laughs> I swear we will be talking about what we're going to have for dinner the day before we have that dinner. You're always talking about dinner. Anyone else? <laughs> and now he's just distracting me. Nothing new here. Finally, I decide to finish my hair so I can look somewhat presentable for the day. for the best part of the morning and no it's not cruisy although she is pretty great but it is going to the dryer and getting my scrubs out because they are so nice and warm and toasty especially when the house is at 60 freaking degrees oh my god i got my scrubs on and now i'm headed to the kitchen Nothing like good old H2O. <laughs> this was me looking for my teacup because I usually like to bring tea with me on my drive to school because it takes me about an hour to an hour and a half to get to the clinical sites. And lo and behold, I found it in the dishwasher. Yes, it was clean. <laughs> water stain Sierra. I've literally been awake for less than 30 minutes and I've already spilled something on myself. What's new? Yeah. I like to lay my clinical stuff out the night before as well. So my watch and then I have, oh, those are my socks, my clinical bag right here on my desk with hopefully everything that I need in it for the day. I like to kind of just empty out my bag and go through everything just to make sure I have all the supplies that I need. So I have my badge which has my name tag for school and then my badge for the hospital. 
And then I just grabbed out my highlighter, a pen, and a pen light from my front pocket. That's my pencil pouch. This is my planner. This is my clipboard, and this is basically the only thing I really actually take into the hospital, not that big bag. And it has all the paperwork I need, my masks that I need, and just kind of various things, a notebook that I use to take notes on. My computer, I always use that at school. And then that's a notebook, I think, for patho. And then this is my stethoscope case, and it has my stethoscope in it, and some scissors. And now the fun part is just shoving everything back in there. So now I'm just packing some snacks to take with me. I've been very terrible at remembering to bring a lunch or just honestly kind of a little lazy. I've been eating at Pita Pit literally every single week. Yeah, so I'm just grabbing a couple snacks, something to eat on my drive up, and then something to eat on my drive back because I'm usually pretty hungry after clinical. This is me angrily looking for my white cheddar cheese, but we don't have any, so that will have to suffice. I always bring a water bottle with me too. And if we have Gatorades in the house, I'll grab one of those just to bring into the hospital because sometimes there's not any time to really snack or munch and so water is your best friend. thinking I should probably stop leaving my clinical shoes in the house just because I walk all around the hospital in those and they're probably so dirty. I've heard someone mention that they put them in a plastic bag and just keep them in the trunk of their car and I think that that is a great idea that I'm going to have to steal. This is me turning around because I left a light on even though I deliberately thought that I turned all the lights off. And now I am headed out the door, hoping and praying that I have everything that I need for the day. Cruz wanted to come with me, but unfortunately she cannot. Well folks, there you have it. <laughs> This truly was a realistic clinical day morning routine in my life. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of the support and all of your kind words. It really means a lot to me. I hope you all are doing absolutely amazing. And if you're in nursing school, I hope you're kicking butt. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed because chances are if you like this video, you will probably like the future videos that I make. Thank you guys again so, so much. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.